Dear Anna, I can't believe this day is finally here. I've been counting down the months, the weeks, and the days since the moment I proposed, and I'm so excited to see you later. I feel incomplete when we're apart. <laughs> but when I'm with you, I feel whole. Dear Nick, I never thought I'd be so lucky to meet someone like you in this lifetime. Before my Yaya passed away, she told me she was going to pray for me from heaven to meet an amazing loving man to be my husband and build a family with. I believe you are that man my Yaya prayed for. Every time I think of our future together, I can't help but smile and get emotional. The idea of us starting our own family together makes me happier than you could ever imagine. You mean the world to me, and I truly never thought I could feel this way about someone else until I met you. Nick, we love you, buddy. We, uh, we can't wait to be out there, and here's to a long life of happiness with Anna. Yes. Yes. I love you all. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. I'm constantly in awe of your unwavering optimism, happiness, and zest for life. You are my best friend and my biggest supporter. I've never felt anyone has ever seen me the way you do. You make me feel loved, safe, and beautiful every day of my life. You've made me believe in my own happily ever after. I promise to always love you, to always be there when you need me, to always support you and be the best husband you could ever hope for and imagine. When I squeeze your hand, just know I'm filled with so much love for you. You are my purpose, you are my life, and you have my full heart. I will love you always. Love, Nick. Come on in. They're closing their eyes, for real. You look amazing. Thank you. Oh my god, Anna. You look amazing. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm as nervous as the day you were born. Oh, you look incredible. You are incredible. As I reflected on writing this, you know, it took some time to think about this speech. I thought about, over the last 33 years, how amazing you are, and all the times you amazed me. We've had lots of fun times at the beach when I would toss you and Emily in the water, shouting, Hakuma Matata! No troubles, no worries. Or singing the Tina Turner song, Simply the Best. You're simply the best. <laughs> I watched and you experienced lots of happy times. The happiest though I've ever seen you is when you are with me. And how beautiful and reassuring it is for a father to see the deep happiness, uh, that deep happiness and contentment. I asked Nick if he had one word to describe me, and he simply texted back quickly. Here. And it's nice to know that Nick knows who you truly are, a very caring person.
I want to tell you, Nick, that I love you. Because I love you because of the way you love Dan. I've told you for years, both you and Emily, how proud I am of you both. But Anna, I've never been as proud of you as I am today, ever. Three sets of three, nine words that mark a Christian marriage. The first set is one that you're probably already very familiar with, I love you. Say it often, as long as you mean it. Today, surrounded by all of our loved ones, I choose you to be my husband. I promise to be your loving wife for the rest of my days. I will love you and cherish you today and every day. See you at the altar. I love you, Anna. I love you too, more than you know. The second set of three. Please forgive me. We're gonna mess up. It's a sad reality of this world and of this life that we hurt those that we love the most. When you allow that to happen, reset. Push the reset. Simply ask for forgiveness. I love you. Please forgive me. And the last set is the one that people are most quick to forget. Let us pray. And if you want this marriage to be grounded with love, forgiveness, and grace, invite God into your marriage. Anna, I'm gonna try not to cry. You are one of the most important people in my life, and I'm so incredibly thankful to have you as a co-pilot and my sister. I can't think of anyone more deserving of a lifetime of happiness than you. Nick? <laughs> you have such a positive effect on Anna. I love that you have encouraged Anna to step out of her comfort zone and try new things but I appreciate the unwavering love and support that you give her every single day. You have become her safe place and her home. So these nine words will serve you well. I hope you can take them to heart, and I hope this beautiful couple will be blessed in faith. It is a joy to present as husband and wife this beautiful couple. I remember waiting with bated breath the day I knew that Nick was gonna to propose to Anna, just waiting to hear the good news, get that text. And today, we're here to celebrate a beautiful relationship. So here's to Nick and Anna, I love you both. I can't wait to see what life holds for both of you.